First of all, let's be clear what we mean by Medicare for all, okay? Medicare is a government-run program for seniors, which is widely popular and quite effective. Uh, in 1965, when Lyndon Johnson passed that bill, it was called by some Republicans socialism and everything else. But you go to the average senior and you say, how do you feel about Medicare? And they will tell you that they will oppose any Republican effort to cut Medicare. And by the way, in Trump's budget, he has proposed an $845 billion cut over a 10-year period to Medicare, which seniors don't want. So to answer your question, we are not talking about government-run health care. The Veterans Administration, and most veterans think that that's a pretty good health care system, talk to the American Legion and the VFW, they strongly defend the uh, veterans' uh, health care. That's government-run. What we are talking about is simply a single-payer insurance program, which means that you will have a card which has Medicare on it. You'll go to any doctor that you want. You'll go to any hospital that you want. And by the way, millions of people today are in networks which prevent them from doing this. So this gives you freedom of choice with regard to the doctors you go to or the hospitals you go to. But here is the main point when we talk about health care. Currently, right now, we've got 30 million people, zero health insurance, and many of you and tens of millions of Americans are underinsured with high deductibles and copayments. Is that correct? Yes. All right. So what happens is there are estimates that some 30,000 Americans die every single year because they don't go to the doctor when they should. All right? Meanwhile, we pay the highest prices in the world for prescription drugs. One out of five Americans are getting ripped off by the drug companies who make billions in profits while charging us the highest prices in the world. And on top of all of that, we spend twice as much per capita on health care as do the people of any other nation. So the question that I throw back to you, do you think it makes sense to spend twice as much per capita as the people of any other nation and be the only country on, in the world not to guarantee health care to all people? Um, this audience, this audience has a lot of Democrats in it. It has uh, Republicans, independents, Democratic socialists, conservatives. Uh, I want to ask the audience a question, if you could raise your hand here. A show of hands of how many people get their insurance from work, private insurance, right now. How many get it from private insurance? Okay. Now, of those, how many are willing to transition to what the senator says, a government-run system? <laughs> There's 180 million people on private insurance. All right, let's deal with that, Brett. And Fair they, question. they Brett. would be lost, right, well, Brett. to a, your Brett. system. Fair okay. question. Okay. Good question. Good, thank and you. I know it's what the right wing throws out, so let me answer it, all right? <laughs> Millions of people every single year lose their health insurance. You know why? They get fired or they quit, and they go to another employer. I was the mayor for eight years. You know what I did, what probably every mayor in America does? is you look around for the best insurance program, the most cost-effective insurance. You change insurance. Every year, millions of workers wake up in the morning and their employer has changed the insurance that they have. Maybe they like the doctors. People are nodding their heads. Okay? So this is not new. Every year. Now, what we're talking about, actually, is stability. That when you have a Medicare for all, it is there now and it will be there in the future.